pipe cam there that could potentially speed this out. Tens on the site, looks good for the first blood. And Will Sick will find a second. Tens taking care of the damage nearby. One more on the corner. Tens will find the third. And the defender getting through. They pass the trap, YM. And now that they see the dash coming in through the jet player, Kuya, should be pretty simple for Sentinels. It is a one to one trade so far. Weaponry good for Valkyries. They do go even. 3v3 situation. But Dapper's made his way onto the site. Nightmare Van Bolt. Tens will scout out one at range. Cloud Burst will block. That tries to get right over the top. Vector in hand. Finds the first, no problem. Then the Cloud Burst to follow up, but Edgy pushed forward and will find the instant trade. Spy Cam did see exactly where Sick was positioned. Also should have probably Ooh. heard that he from the Sova up top in heaven is the real question. There's the recon bolt out. Sounds good for the first and the second. Shazam, meanwhile, simultaneously. Holding down the angle, will f- Fence, aggressive in the cubby, has found first blood. That's a spike carrier down the clock first. I don't think he gave as much cover oh, as he was sick. hoping for, but Sick absolutely will. Dapper running with it. I believe does actually come through, but Tens, oh my goodness, the recon bolt, how clutch is that? With all the line of sight breaks, Cyber Cage's clock first doesn't make a difference when everyone is revealed. Besides the last player left alive, has to use the hot hands just to try to get a little bit of a self-sustain into the mix, but he's in a 1v4 situation, and the counter hot hands will be also walk away not seeing anything. So, all of a sudden, Valkyries have crept up through a long, and with that kill onto Shazam, that's going to be a relatively open site. It's just Soms who's here for now. He'll play his life in this corner, hoping to catch someone on long rotation, of which... Hello, Yedge. So long, Edgy. No problem there. Ten's going to be helping for the flank, and the retake is on. 4v3 situation. You do it the Blade Storm out if you're ten. Dom's making his way forward. Dapper able to find the first, but sits in the corner. Good for three in a row, but... Easy, and they might want to think about doing that more. Similar opening here, and oh my goodness, look at all the information off the recon bolt. Dom's going to have to play his life for as long as possible. Shock darts will try to get a little bit of extra damage in, and Shazam makes good onto a couple. The trades are still pretty decent, at least until Sick comes forward. And really tilts the advantage in favor of Sentinel's defense. Timber literally stuck in a corner. And he's about to be pushed by a number of Sentinel's defenders. Not going to be good for the first one. The second one's going to be... No A-splits. We're not we're talking about pushing Shower and Long at the same time. Here's you on the Zom, so that's really good. So here we go. Patience from Valkyrie paying off now. Clear some of the back of the site, but the problem is... The defenders that are here for Sentinels are taking aggressive oh, angles. God. One of which is from Tens. He finds himself a second thought for a second. Maybe he gets the collab, but... He'll just go ahead and does find that first point of contact and comes out victorious. Good flash here from Sick. The shots, though, well, at least initially weren't nearly as good. He does find one elimination. We had to punish. Tens taking his time. Rolls nine the trades, and it just comes down to Nightmare. Oh, boy, where do you go? Not much. Go into a gun round. This will be the first one. We do see them pick up an operator to see what uh, Kuya might be able to do with that. Uh, how about it? You ask him to do something with it, you time, and with that information off the neural that they'll try to go to A, but Tens is here, and that might just be enough for Sentinels. I was going to say, man, 4v3 is very doable here. That's going to be now deletion of the ultimate coming through on the side of Yotwasiz and Valkyrie, but they get Tens down, so two versus, th two versus three. No, not like this! Actually off of his blaze wall, he gets to about half HP. Now the flash comes through and Sick ends up finding four! And they should be on site. Oh. Edgy has to deal with it. He's in smoke coverage, but Ten still finds the first blood. Also knows that there is going to be somebody playing through the defensive side at spawn as Sick makes sure that the garage alley stays safe. So the first two kills good for the offensive Sentinels. Nightmare hiding in a dark cover, he gets spammed to the high heavens. That'll mean that it's a 2v5. One Sentinel still remaining. pushing forward. Zom finds Kuya. Zom's gonna even take down. Uh, coming through from Valkyrie on some of the previous games. That was the 13 1 versus Cute Fat Boys, where they were the one side. On Ascent this time on Haven. We're looking towards full buy up from. Well, Valkyrie, they're trying to get aggressive this time around, but First Blood does come through for Sick onto his counterpart right through B. Dapper finds another. And this Valkyrie's team is all across the map. It's looking for individual wins. Timber, maybe one here. No, nope, not the case. Misses every shot. Pens. Angle held down the trigger. You go first round underway. Valkyrie on defense. Sentinels on the attack and wasting no time to be Zoms pushing up, getting punished, but the trade will be there. That's a really important trade. Getting Kuya off the board. Tens now moving forward and moving quickly forward. Not going to get the better of size, who actually goes into a share for the first round. 
Also with overheal off of that kill, so he's back to about full HP. Fight Makes use of it to find a second. So hold on a second here. Valkyrie looking pretty strong when it comes to this defense of the A site. Shazam, though, up top, try to change that shot a bit of it. And Size will find himself a third. So it comes down to six. He's left with a 1v3. Already finding one elimination. He just he wants them to peek him off this recon bolt reveal. Not be gifted that opportunity, but the shots up top will be pretty solid, tagging him down to 88, and eventually it'll be... Mid. Seems to want to get that way, and oh boy. Does isolate Nightmare completely. There is no trade immediately. Sias trying to do what he can to deny that. Dismiss to get away. Will be allowed so to take the second challenge, and that'll be good. Yeji there to help. So the first three kills looking pretty solid for Valve. But Shazam is still trying to push forward. He will eliminate one of those SMG holders. And then bring that to battle as he picks it up for a 2v3. I got the See if Sentinels can maybe get a couple of gun upgrades here. Yeah, they have certainly found that. At least Shazam's going to be able to get himself an SMG. Who yet yeah, looking for a frag. We'll find it on the second chance to really get too much more done there. One for one trade would have been exciting. See towards size as well. He's got himself... The Empress popped, and that's going to be a 3v2 Run Nightmare finds Shazam, and here we go. Nightmare's up for a second as well. Sentinel's down to only one Zoms. At least the spike has been planted, but it's not looking good in terms of numbers. Not looking good in terms of the chances here. Nightmare up with the wall, ends up actually saving his life, so maybe that's okay for Valkyrie. 4v4 for the retake, jumping over the knives. He didn't spot the member below, though, and oh. he will go down. Yeah, it's actually two members that were below him. Dapper will be credited with the kill. Timber on the retake, not going to be successful on his first engagement. Leaves things just down the nightmare. And as he tries to use in for more stacked middle for Valkyrie's defense, are now working around the flank. Sick will be the first one up on this post plant setup. He's at least one. And well, there's help. One more around the corner. Nowhere for Nightmare to go. Three quick eliminations to come in, and it just goes down to a 2v3. You have to remember that that operator being held for Valkyrie will likely not be a part of this, so. As the other four members fall, Kuya will try to save as much as he possibly can away from the oncoming force of will not stall Dapper from finding a way to go ahead and get this spike planted. Okay. And Tings left two free kills here, maybe even three. No one spotted him. Doesn't Unreal. even have to dismiss. Fourth kill, possibly. <laughs> and maybe the ace to follow as well. I mean, it'll get stolen away by Zoom. I'll jump forward here. Ten's going to make good on it, keeping the hot hand. Even going to go a little bit further by using ropes to move but he does get tend up by now now dapper the next one required to move forward patience there friend and he does get rewarded it is a virtue after all tens looking for the last kill he surfaces her wall bangable but no he finds himself on the unfriendly side oh that's tough Spike gets planted Kuya will find one elimination, but the resurrection will come into play. Kuya should be able to farm that up one more time, and he will. Meanwhile, Yachi has found another elimination, so now just like that, it's down to a 4v3 situation. Valkyrie in the retake. Timber good for the next engagement. Shazam trying to hold space, but not a really great angle where the spike is planted, so he's going to have to continue to try to peek this, and as he does, Yachi finds the elimination. Sick does have the Hunter's Fury, and oh boy, there's a couple of players that are lined up, but teleporting forward is still threatening for A. Tens will be responsible for the flank, and Yeji is right inside tube. And depending on the timing in the middle of the map, it could pay off massively for the retake attempts of Valkyrie, and that will come through. So the trade will be there. 3v3 we go, and Dapper once more will get the spike planted. Well, Valkyrie do have members coming around. So no one on the flank, actually, but that's fine. Let's see if Sentinels can work this post plant. Zom's in a great position. All integrity is nice and high. He'll have a timing, sees that one player's above him. Swing at any moment, but finds the person down below first. Oh! And oh my goodness! That ace from popping those ultimates and speeding up on Ah, oh, but size. Nice response for him for the first. Shazam will reset the blade storm with that headshot on the timber. And even beyond that, trying to still move aggressively. Recon bolt will clear off a lot of this B site. Shots over the top not gonna be required from Shazam as sick finds to kill, no problem. But Valkyrie still have members that are nearby that could deny this spike being planted. But you see it's down just outside yellow at the moment. So one good shot from Kuya can turn this whole round into the favor of Valkyrie. Shock Dot's pretty good, actually. That's a good kill from Six. To, um, uh, I'll accept it. That's a W from me. I'll ward that one over. So, Sentinels on the defense. Ends for the first kill. Doesn't dismiss away. And it'll be a two for one trade in for Plant. The edge is trying to get this fight off. Good help from Timber. Does allow this fight to fully get planted. But it's a 2v3 situation. Numbers, at least initially, for Sentinels look good. And the health pulls beyond that are about even. But the last couple of eliminations, isolated behind the yellow container, no problem. 
before, but they were on the side where the inventory wasn't good. Now they have the guns, and with those guns, the first blood. Fuya is a bit stuck right here. Six trying to punish for the first shock dart, and the second, not exactly what we're used to seeing. One hits down low, the other hits the side, and Sick gets punished. Nice wall bang shot there Ooh. from Kuya. Each and some of multiple members converging around him. We'll get the one kill, gets traded almost instantly. Now it's down to Shazam and speaking of Sentinels into an eco if you win this round. So very important one. Shazam has been spotted. No, I lied. The lair is going to force him to shoot. And now Sentinels pounce two kills instantly. And the Empress pretends, you know, he's going to want to try to get aggressive with this. Just over the top wants to dismiss to make sure he stays alive. Yeji, yeah, last player left. 1v3 situation does have a resurrection. And is going to not just consider it, wants to potentially use it, but the very orb gets denied. Oh boy. Moment. Honestly, they should cancel because, as you'd expect, I mean, Valkyrie, as soon as they reveal themselves on a site, they should know that Sentinel's gonna fast rotate almost every single time, and possibly a timing here coming through from Dapper as well, and another kill to follow. This is gonna be Dapper going off. This is his round, potentially, for Sentinels, four versus three, but Valkyrie's gonna stay B, they're gonna stay the course, and they will be rewarded with one kill at least. Got to give a little typical nod to <laughs> Dapper with a little pistol toss over to see if he can paint some shots. Not come through. So 2v3 situation favoring Valkyrie and now the Hunter's Jury coming down. Just going to deny time, deny space. Pushes it through, misses the shot. Last attempt for Nightmare to get this planted and he will be able to just in the nick of time, but sit quick to try to contest. The 1v2 from the high ground. We'll get the reload off, and Valkyrie have not even attempted to peek him yet, but now they'll have to. The recon bolt coming through. Sick take care of the size, no problem. But he's got absolutely no clue where the last player has gone to. And Nightmare's got an ult. That might be all that's required. He's going to pull it out early. Sick moving fast. We'll find it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of time for the defuse. Uh, Sentinels on 12. Play a free one for one, a 1v1, especially versus Sick, who would otherwise be on a, you know, duelist. He's now gone back to duelist on pretty much every other map. Um, that, to me, should have been a Valkyrie round. Uh, scout him out over the top. First couple of knives will miss. Now Shazam's just down to a couple. Kuya could have returned the favor. Uh, a little bit of an anime battle, doing? but tens who will find elimination i think your question stands uh, he's pushing in by himself into the heart of the defensive sentinels wall will be down that'll allow space for dapper to get the resurrection we'll go to a 5v3 for sentinels and we'll have to try to find a retake yeah i'm not too sure about kuya then just running into multiple players and well it doesn't seem like it's almost a good angle to play with all the members of sentinels are going to come on through the defuse is going to be there as well